Combining all of those skills together, the art and the science, the thinking and the doing, was what resulted in the exceptional result. What's going on my fellow traders? I'm going to do a quick video per uh, someone's request and just having me go over and explain what you guys are seeing on this screen. So I'm going to um, start with uh, this chart right here. So today is Wednesday, uh, December 26. These are the uh, this is the afternoon here for me. So this is the Globex session going into Wednesday night. Um, so that's what today is representing. That's why the market looks kind of pretty thin and slow. Anyhow, this chart right here is what is called a footprint chart. So what's going on is that um, you're seeing every offer printed and every bid printed. That's basically whatever gets printed here goes on the left side of this column and whatever gets printed here goes on this side of the column and it adds it up until it ticks up. That way I don't have to remember what traded in here especially when I go and I clear the trades. Now I don't remember how many traded into there. I can just come to back to this screen right here and it tells me, oh yeah, 42 traded into it. Cool. Uh, I don't have to uh, forget about that. So uh, that's what these numbers are. Now these zigzag lines that you see right here, these are just measuring the rotations. Um, the market moves you know, up and down, up and down. It doesn't just go straight up, it doesn't just go straight down. It has this ebb and flow to it. And all this is doing is measuring, okay, we, have, we pushed three points down after pushing three points up. Then we went two points up before coming back down 3.25. And what this is doing is it's helping me uh, get a quick idea of who's having, who's, who's winning the fight between um, the, the push and pull basically, right? So if, if, you're, if you're pushing up, but then every time they're pulling back down, it's greater if this is eight and this is three, then you can tell that these guys right here, right, the eights are stronger, especially if we come back up and it's only four, and then we drop back down seven. As you can see, the push compared to the pull, which are these two numbers, is uh, letting me kind of give me a quick idea of, all right, who's in charge? Sellers are pushing a lot easier uh, than, than buyers can lift up. So that's what that is. This right here is just a simple order book. This is where I execute my orders. This is where I put my offers, my bids, and this is just the ladder. And what I did was I took out the first two numbers. So the actual price right here is right here. Just go straight across. 2,460. I don't need to see the 2,400. I just need to see the 60. So I take it out just for simplicity purpose. What you're seeing here each circle represents a certain amount of size traded. So if I were to click on that circle, it will tell me what time and how much traded, 55 by 86. The bigger the circle, the more contracts traded, and that just gives me an idea of you know um, who, who basically gobbled up all those orders. Now you're seeing something flash white right here in and out. Pay attention, just look across. You see 59, 64, that's greater than all these other numbers and it's gonna show it in white because that means there's more liquidity out of the depth of the market. There's more liquidity at this price than there is at any other price. If this were to jump up to you know 60 right here, you're gonna start seeing the, a little white flash because there's more liquidity at this price. Somebody's flashing like, hey, you know, I'm willing to put 50 contracts, 100 contracts out here on the bid. But then you see it flashing, that means they're, they're putting it on and they're, and they're um, pulling it, pulling it on and pulling it. And then lastly, what you guys have here, this is just a standard candlestick uh, tick chart. It's a two tick Renko, two tick Renko. And the only reason why I chose Renko is because I like the way these bars look. That's just the style of the bars. Two tick because it allows me to see, uh, you know, in minute the rotations and it kind of just helps me, especially when I want to scalp around. It helps me to this, you know, really see the rotations um, on an even lower basis than this than this chart right here to uh, the left. So that's that. Um, you know, hope this makes sense. Again, this is a footprint chart. This is just the order book. So I, you know, 
this information is just translated onto that and once this forms that's how these candles are formed basically that's that's how it goes so if you were to, if you were to work, look at how a market works it goes number one number two and then boom number three that's why the charts you know a little bit of lagging indicators even though this is not time based it's still slower than this right here this is the purest form of the market and uh, why I have it up and why I pay attention to it. All right, hope this makes sense. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some comments below. If you liked the video, please, hit, as always, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, all right, hope you guys are doing well, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Combining all of those skills together, the art and the science, the thinking and the doing, was what resulted in the exceptional result.